Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, me to Gigi and Brian about season two of Bridge and Tunnel premiering on Epics July 10th. Thank you both for your time. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Brian, you know, there's a lot at play with this show. I'm just curious what kind of element kind of stands out or you like the most about it. Is it the slice of life component? Is it just seeing the relationships kind of grow after season one? The season two is the 80s. What's your favorite thing about this show specifically? And, you know, it's a bit it's a bit of all of it. I think yeah. that, you know, my the nostalgic vibe of it i think the vibe i think the show there's just there's just an energy to it there's an energy to new york city there's an energy to long island there's it's it's an energy that i grew up around and to 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 revisit it from a kind of in the past point of view in the early 80s late 70s um it feels very at home it feels like it feels like a warm hug is what i feel like the show feels like 100 now Gigi, i'm hoping you can clue in why i'm explaining this to you so my name is pd beats right there's a reason why they call me PD Beats, right? I I play drums and bands and everything. You're not percussionist, buddy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What's that like, kind of being able to be in a show where you can incorporate the drums and the music specifically in your role? It was awesome. I, when yeah. I first talked to Ed about it, I told him like music is so music's my first love. Nothing yeah. against acting or whatever, but it's so much my first love that it's it's almost too personal to me to share. I used to hate piano recitals, drum recitals, everything. I hated, <laughs> hated it, but it's my, it's my passion. Um, and so when Ed asked me, I don't know why I could turn down playing for anybody else, but Ed Burns, just looking up at him, you got to say yes. And I, uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll do whatever. <laughs> like, he's the nicest guy on the planet. And he made working with him so incredible for me season one that I was like, yeah, this, this could be fun. So I got back into lessons. I hadn't taken lessons since I was like in high school. And um, it, it made me like fall in love with it all. I'm, I'm a music fan. I'm happy to yeah. just be crowd watching. I don't need to be on stage performing, but percussion is my absolute first love. So it was really fun to get to do that again. Music is becoming so much more like involved in like TV and film, even when it's not like about like musicians, yeah. if you know what I mean by that. That's the best part about it and everything. Um, Brian, kind of adding to that a little bit, you know, the feel and the kind of aesthetic of the show. I mean, you know, we're going back to the eighties and everything, mm -hmm. you know, what was it like kind of when you were cast kind of seeing the kind of blueprints of what you were kind of getting yourself into kind of being thrown back in the eighties specifically. I was so pumped for it. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, you grow up watching movies from that era, especially as an actor and you're trying to like get, get a feel and the, and, and, and a vibe for, for, you know, great movies from that era. So to, to do something period is just so fun. I had done um, some, some period stuff in, in earlier in my career. And it's just, it's, it makes you feel it's to put on the old jackets and the leather coats and just nothing makes you feel like you're, you're really being an actor more than kind of like when you look in the mirror and you go, I wouldn't, that's not what I wear in my day-to-day -day life. Um, yeah. And yeah, I mean, it just, uh, <laughs> it just, you don't have to, you, you feel like you don't have to do that much work because you're looking around, you're on a rotary phone, you're on, you know, the, the, the environment is just built for you. So it, it really, it harkens back to like the uh, first joy of, of doing anything acting wise, which is that you get, let your, imagine, your, your imagination run free. Absolutely. Gigi, very quickly too, when a show gets like renewed for season two, I, I, is like the mindset like just kind of, okay, how is season two going to be better than season one? Or is it more kind of, okay, where are these like character progressions coming in? Like, what's that mindset quickly for a season two? I don't know if it was this, if this is bad or not, but I remember when we got picked up for season two, I was just excited to have fun. I remember Caitlin yeah. called me and we were just screaming and we're like, we're going back to New York. And like, <laughs> I feel bad. Like it's my job and this is my profession. Yeah. But my brain was like, Oh my God, I get to see everybody again. We're going to have a blast. Like on set was just fun. Like I felt a total different pressure. Like pressure was off. It was like, Oh, we knew it worked. We knew we vibed. So com coming back was just like, yay. Like we're getting paid for this. <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, July 10th, season two is premiering on Epics. Gigi, Brian, thank you so much for your time. It was so great chatting with you. Thank you Thanks so, so much, much Petey. 
Petey Beats here from Pop Turner, speaking to Isabella and John Luis about season two of Bridge and Tunnel, premiering on Epics July 10th. Thank you both for your time. Yes, thank you. Thank you. John Luis, I always feel like it's very exciting when some, a show comes back for season two, and I'm always curious about the mindsets. For you, was it more kind of just seeing where kind of the storylines go and the character development, or was it kind of just the main thing about you want to make season two better than season one? What's going for your mind when it comes back for season two? Yeah, I mean, I had a different approach this season. Uh, you know, in the beginning, I remember season one, we were all very nervous. We didn't know what to expect. We, everyone was like, oh my God, Edinburgh shoots so fast. And we're like, oh my God, okay, let's just try and get everything perfect. Uh, season two, it wasn't like that. I feel like uh, we all kind of just let a little bit more loose. Uh, our performances were better. And, you know, the storyline was originally better. And we had already played these characters and understood the work environment. So uh, I think it was just less pressure as a like collectively as a whole. And that that was I think that was the mindset for a lot of us, honestly, just doing our own thing in a way. Oh, absolutely. And Isabel, I find it interesting because when you're officially cast for this, I feel like there's a lot that kind of comes into play. You want to get prepared as much as you can for the character and the arc and everything. But of course, we're going back in time. We're going back to the 80s and everything. Is aesthetic and kind of how it's going to look one of the things that comes to mind a lot as well? Um, no, I'm not an actor that like rehearses in front of a mirror. Um, you know, sometimes even more. I, well, that being said, I like watching it back. Like I'm not one of the people that also doesn't watch their show or their performance. Um, but as far as aesthetic, I trust this crew more than anyone. Like I know it's going to look good. It always has. It always will. Every single frame for frame looks beautiful. That's the least of my worries. It's like, Uh, I'm rocking what God gave me and um, our fantastic DP, Jeff, you know, so it looks we we got that unlocked, you know. Oh, 100 percent. John Lewis, kind of to add to that a little bit as well. um, What kind of stands out with this show specifically? Is it the 80s component? Is it the relationships? Is it the slice of life? Like there's a lot at play with the show. What's the one thing that kind of stands out like element wise? Um, Honestly, uh, like for me. We're still shooting it in 2022. So for me, it's the clothing that's really the 80s, um, <laughs> you know, because um, it's uh, like, you know, Isabella said, I'm not the kind of person that will rehearse in front of a mirror how to stand or how to walk or how to hold a cigarette or whatever it may be. But I feel like the outfits do it for you. The minute yeah. I have my bell bottom pants on, I feel like I'm walking different or, you know, a tight leather jacket on. You just you can just sense that you went back in time. Mm-hmm. And you're just there. You're being present. And there was nothing that you need to rehearse because it feels like the wardrobe will do it for you. and Or at least for me, you know, from my experience. Absolutely. Isabella, what are you hoping that people get out of it when they get to watch season two of Bridge and Tunnel on Epix this season? What do you hope they get out of it takeaway wise? Um, I hope that they just like really enjoy the lightheartedness of it. Yep. Um, the world is really heavy right now. You know, we're, we're faced with really sad news daily. I hope that they walk away feeling um, inspired to follow their dreams, to make a difference in the world, um, to know that there is lightness and all the darkness that we're surrounded with, whether it's heartbreak or something we read in the news or something that we've experienced. Um, we will get through this. And also, you know, this group of friends always comes back together. They have their center and lean into those people that make you feel safe and that have known you in your life. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Well said. It's gonna, season two is premiering July 10th. <clears throat> Excuse me. Season two is premiering July 10th on Epic's Bridge and Tunnel. Thank you both for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Pete. Love you. your Thanks. energy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. PD Beats here from Pop Turner speaking to Sam and Erica about season two of Bridge and Tunnel premiering on Epics July 10th. Thank you both for your time. Hey, hey. PD, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Sam, I'm just curious what the mindset is when you find out that, you know, Bridge and Tunnel is coming back for season two. Obviously, the main thing specifically is character progression, story developments. But what else is on your mind a little bit? Making it better than season one? Like, what's on your mind with that? Yeah, I mean, after I changed my underwear, um, I, <laughs> w- yeah, yeah, I just immediately thought of Ed had asked us. And, 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 and Sorry, and, I wasn't and, expecting you to say that. I was great. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, true story. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was just, I, I, I mean, I knew we would have a, a, a freer world to shoot yep. in, um, a little bit more free. <laughs> um, and uh, I, was, I was super excited to see where Ed was going to take it. Uh, Mostly because he asked us what 
we wanted to see. Um, I know he definitely asked all of us like what kind of special skills we had, like Gigi yeah. just shredding it on the drums this season. Uh, Bella's dancing her butt off. Um, and, and, and that was really cool to see, but uh, yeah, just because season one filmed in the time it did, Ed couldn't really do what he wanted to do. Um, yeah. You know, and having six episodes, I mean, people just wanted to see more. Um, and that, that was the most exciting thing about season two, finally getting to see where these kids wanted to, where their dreams would take them. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Erica, to add to kind of what Sam said in regards to Ed, because Ed threw a lot at the cast in terms of this, because there's a lot at play, I feel like, with this show. And I'm just curious kind of what stands out. Is it the 80s component? Is it the slice of life? Is it just seeing all the different relationships and decisions characters made? Like, what stands out specifically for you with this show? To me, I mean, I think it is like to me, it does feel like a love letter to the 80s and just yeah. that that sort of essence of family life that existed back then, how you, you know, I mean, the, the suburban lifestyle of being right across from New York City, but still living on a street where you can like play with kids your age or whatever mm -hmm. and walk over to your neighbor's house. I think it has a lot of like that sort of nostalgia to it, but it's definitely this season, like as Sam was saying, we drop into like the characters' backgrounds a little bit more. We get a little deeper about people's dreams and what they're really searching for. And I think that's really cool too, because it's very relatable. <laughs> Sam, is it a weird feeling that you know you you shoot the film, you shoot season two, it's in the can, it's ready to go, right? It's coming out July 10th. It's yeah. yours. It's like it's the cast and crews, and then you know, but it's gonna be a lot of people are gonna be able to see it after it's the world's after when it goes on epics. Is that always a weird, overwhelming thing to think about a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, <laughs> I wish I I I hope more people see it. Um yeah. but it's 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 so bizarre to see like what countries people are watching it in yes there's a lot of um from like the netherlands there's mm -hmm. a lot of people in the netherlands who really like this show and just mm -hmm. like seeing like social media like there's just the response and mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot of bridge and tunnels in a lot of different countries which is awesome I always um, just feel like yeah. that's the weirdest thing though. You make something, you wait, and then boom, people see it. Like I always thought yeah. that was the most mind blowing thing. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's mind blowing, but it's also like, you know, we went to Tribeca a couple of weeks ago and that was probably the most mind blowing thing because, you know, you watch these episodes with friends or your family, you know, whoever you watch it with. Um, but it's, it's, it's another thing to watch in a room with like 200 people and, you know, they catch things that, I don't even think Ed knew they'd catch. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it was, it's really special. It's, it's bizarre. Erica, super, super quick before we wrap up, what are you hoping to get out of it when they watch season two of Bridge and Tunnel takeaway wise, the audience? I, I hope that they relate to it, which I know they will. And I just hope that it makes them feel good. Times are tough right now. And I hope people walk away being like, that made me smile. Absolutely. Season two premiering on July 10th on Epic. Sam, Erica, thank you both so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for tuning in to Poptternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Poptternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.